UK Sail Makers presents Sail with Confidence, a series of instructional videos for both racing and cruising sailors. The letterbox is the safest method for dousing a spinnaker offshore. Named because this takedown looks like mail being delivered from a letterbox, the letterbox takedown has four distinct advantages. First, the letterbox takedown lets you drop the chute in a safe, controlled manner with a minimal crew. Second, the letterbox lets you drop the spinnaker without having a crew working on the foredeck. Third, because the spinnaker is being pulled over the boom, the foot flies high with little or no chance of going into the water. Finally, because the letterbox lowers the spinnaker through the companionway, the forward hatch can be kept closed and tightly dogged to keep the breaking seas out of the boat. While sailing in the 2011 Sydney Hobart Ocean Race, the crew of Reeves Potts Carina saw a nominous front coming from the south, a famed southerly buster common in the Hobart race. To set up a letterbox takedown, start by attaching a takedown line to the clue of the spinnaker. This could be a changing sheet or a spare line. If the sail isn't rigged with a dedicated takedown line, pull the lazy sheet around to the leeward side. Run the takedown line through the slot between the top of the boom and the foot of the main. Then run it to a block on the windward rail. Then to an open winch in the cockpit and give the tail to a crew member. In this case, it was the helmsman. The tack was spiked, and as the sail drifted to leeward, it was pulled in through the letterbox. The takedown line was trimmed, and the helmsman took up the slack. Finally, the sail went down the hatch smoothly and safely. All this was done before the buster came through. Here's Christopher Dragon during the 2017 Sydney Hobart race, peeling from her A2 to her A4 as the wind increased to over 25 knots. With their 10 foot long bowsprit, they let the tack run, which is much safer than sending someone out onto the pole to spike the tack. When setting up a takedown line, you may not have many options on where to attach the block, so select a lead far enough aft of the shrouds so that the spinnaker runs through the widest section of the letterbox, and then it doesn't get jammed between the boom and the mains tack. This letterbox didn't go as smoothly as planned because the retrieval line was led too far forward and the spinnaker got wedged under the tack of the main. Because you'd need to disconnect and rerun the sheets and guys after a letterbox, this technique is rarely used in day races. However, if you're in a seaway and you need to get the chute down safely, the letterbox is the answer. Look for more safety at sea and boat handling videos at UKSailmakers.com. UK Sailmakers. Sailmaking is what we do. Sharing our passion for sailing is why we do it. Sail with confidence.